lot going on with the interlude to duvet. There's so much that I'm going to put it into two parts. Uh, the first one being the finger style stuff up to this. And then the next one will be the kind of squigglier um, pedal steel sound and stuff. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have this shape right here. So you're going to go fourth of the G, third of the B, fifth of the E. And we're going to arpeggiate it down from the E to the G five times. And then we're going to slide this whole shape all the way up to the ninth fret. So your middle finger is going to be on the ninth fret. And we're going to do this. Uh, but then your pinky is going to change to your ring. So you're going to do this cascady thing, but you're going to go 10, 9, 7, 9, 9. So that's that first little part. And then we're going to go take this shape right here. So that's 12 of G, 10 of B, 12 of E, and we're going to go slide it up a whole step, back down, and then go to our shape we just had. And we're going to, so it'll sound like, and then we're going to go, so all within this shape right here. And then we got this last shape. So it's going to be uh, seven, five, seven, the last two times. So, so first little part, and then we're going to repeat pretty much everything in the first part. So that's all the same, but then we're going to add this little line at the end of that part where we go into our next thing, and then we're going to take the shape we did right here, and then we're just going to alternate between the 10th and the 12th. Short one, and then we're going to slide it all the way up to where your middle finger is on the 19th fret. Doing that. So that's the first half. Uh, I'll make part two tomorrow, and I'll post that. So this is part two of how to play duvet. In the first part, we covered all the finger style stuff that goes from this part all the way to this part. So now we're going to work on the pedal steel sounding stuff that sounds like this. playing it is harmonized. I have the upper melody line and then I have a note below it to kind of give it a little more color. It's pretty difficult and I have it included in the tabs I posted if you want that challenge. But we're just going to focus on the top upper line. So the upper line is going to start on the B string 7th fret and we're going to go... We're going to go 7, 8, 7, 8, 10, 7 and we're just going to pick... I like to just pick it once and just let the power of the... Uh, a pull-offs and hammer-ons and slides kind of do the rest because it kind of sounds texturally like the, like what's going on in the song. So now we're going to go up to the 10th fret. So we're going to go 10, 12, 10, 12, 14, 10. Now we're going to go 15, 17, 12, 13, 12 of E. So like that. So now we're going to take it down with some uh, hammers and pull-offs. We're going to go 12, 13, 12 on the E, 15, 17, 15 on the B, 10, 12, 10, 8, 10, 8, da, 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 da. so 7, 8, 7, 8. And then we're going to take it back up again, and the first part's exactly the same. But then the way back down's a little different. We're going to go up to the 17th, 17, 19. 12, 13, 12, uh, 15, 17, 15, 10, 12, 10, and then we're gonna go to the G string to end it. It's gonna go seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, like that. Yeah. So that's the upper line. So again, if you want that challenge, I have it posted in the tabs. It's the bottom line. Uh, yeah, so give this a try. That's the whole thing.